There we go. Good evening, Raul. Hi, good night. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rodrigo. How are you doing today? Um, I'm fine, thanks, teacher. Uh, I only stay in my in my home because I work from home. Uh, I work in a in a call center, but it's in Spanish. <laughs> uh, for this reason, I decide to learn English. Uh, mm -hmm. But I have a good day, teacher. Awesome! I'm happy to hear that, Rodrigo. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Nice. Perfecto. Qué bien que tuvo un buen día. Y qué bien que ya tiene la experiencia. Solamente le falta ahí un poquito. Eh, mejorar algunas cositas y ya va a poder pasarse de cuenta. Una cuenta en inglés. Y así va, va a ganar más. Así que, muy bien. Sí. Very good, Rodrigo. Very good job. Hopefully, you can get a good job. Hopefully, that, that can become a reality for you. So, well. Uh, thank you guys for coming and thank you. Uh, welcome, Josue. Thank you for coming. Good evening, Josue. Can you hear us? Probably not. Okay, no problem. Well, guys, um, there we go. We have Margarita. She's coming. Good evening, Margarita. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Very good, thank you so much. Um, I'm doing okay, thank you for asking. And happy to see you again. Thank you for coming, Margarita. And we have Norma Lizano as well. Good evening, Norma, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm very good. Very good, I'm happy to see you again. Yes. Very good, very good, thank you. Thank you for coming, Norma. Hopefully we can learn something uh, today. I think that we have been doing a very good job. You guys are learning a lot of things. And I feel like you guys have uh, more confidence than before, right? Uh, you can talk to me. And uh, I think that we are making some improvements, right? You guys are doing a great job. So good evening, Harrison. How are you? Good evening. Welcome, Harrison. How, how is your day going? I am fine, Very good, very good. Thank you so much for coming, Harrison. Thank you. Happy to see you again. Well, so, right. So yesterday, guys, we talked about a couple of different things. We learned, uh, we had like this a uh, little introduction to our new topic. We talked about like some uh, time contrast that you can remember. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién se acuerda de que estuvimos viendo Perdón. Eh, ¿Qué fue lo que nosotros hicimos el día de ayer? Vamos a ver, ¿nos acordamos? Cada vez nos vamos uniendo más, ¿verdad? Ahorita estamos nueve. Ayer habíamos poquitos en la clase, no sé qué pasó. Vamos a ver por acá, en el grupo dice... Vamos a ver. I have some problems with my internet. I'm going to connect in a few minutes. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'm allergic to something. I, I don't know because sometimes I feel like congested and things like that. So uh, that's really awful. Well, so thank you so much for coming, guys. So uh, I was trying to ask you uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, do you guys remember what we discussed yesterday? Because we started this uh, new section, section number four. And we had like this um, conversation about how a neighborhood has changed. Vamos a empezar con una actividad quizás para que nos despertemos, ¿verdad? Me gustaría que podamos nosotros, ustedes, eh, que ustedes me digan eh, cosas que están en su vecindario, ¿ok? Pero cada uno me tiene que decir algo diferente. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir que, so, there is a police station in my neighborhood. Uh, there, there is a park in my neighborhood, and I go there uh, with my uh, children uh, on the weekend, for example. 
you can say something like that. So uh, I would like for you guys to tell me things that you have in your neighborhood. If you can remember, yesterday we had a list with some different places that we have in our neighborhood, like a supermarket, we have the post office, we have uh, houses, the bus stop, restaurants, hospitals, clinics, church, bakery, all those kind of things, right? So I want you to tell me something that you guys have in your neighborhood. And I want you to tell me something uh, different, right? And uh, also I want you to tell me uh, if you visit that place. Like for example, uh, there is a police station, but I have never been to the police station in my life. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a empezar así. Vamos a ver eh, quién quiere comenzar, quién quiere eh, ser voluntario primero. Vamos a ver. Me, teacher. Very good. Thank you, Margarita. You can go ahead. In, in, in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. there is a school, but I but my daughter uh, study in another school. But okay. it's a, a nice school. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Margarita. So... There is a school in your neighborhood, but your daughter doesn't go. I mean, she's, yeah, right. Like she doesn't go to that school. She goes to another school, right? But it's a nice school, though. Still. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Margarita. Bueno, el ejemplo de Margarita es que la, hay una escuela en el vecindario, pero mi hija no va a esa escuela, ella va a otra. Okay, muy bien. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más? Tiene que ser un lugar diferente, recuerden eso. Ya no puede ser una escuela, tiene que ser otra cosa. Vamos a ver ahí, por ejemplo, Gerson. Cuéntenos usted. Vamos a ver, vamos a ir con Gerson. Bueno, quizás no está listo todavía. Vamos a preguntarle a Rodrigo Hernández. Vamos a ver. Can you please tell us, Rodrigo, a place that you have in your neighborhood? And also, can you tell us something about that place? Like, for example... If you go there, vamos a ver, tenemos a Jeffrey. Jeffrey lo veo que está listo, ya. Yeah. Vamos a preguntarle a Jeffrey primero y después a alguien más. Ok. Eh, in my neighborhood, there is a big church. Eh, that church is a uh, eh, Don Rua. You know that eh, church? I have heard about that. Church, so, Don Rua. Don Rua, Don Rua. Don Rua Church. Okay, very good. And have you ever gone to church? I mean, do you go to church normally or not? No, I haven't. You haven't? Okay. Okay, very good. But it's a really uh, big building, right? I mean, it's it looks pretty. So it's a pretty place. Yes, it's, it's very great. Yes, it's right. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Thank you. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien, ¿alguien ha ido a esa iglesia, a la iglesia de Don Rúa? ¿Qué nos, ¿Qué nos pueden decir acerca de la iglesia? Is it a nice place? Vamos a ver, tenemos a Gerson por ahí. In my neighborhood, uh, there is a supermarket and, and build a gas station. I go to the supermarket in Marsella. Oh, okay. I see. All right. Very good. I I know that place because I, let's say that I live there too. So <laughs> very good. Very good, Harrison. Thank you. So there is a supermarket and you usually go there so you can buy things like food, maybe. How often do you go to the supermarket, Harrison? Do you go once a week, two times a week? How many times do you go? Uh, in the monks, uh, four, uh, four times. You go four times a month. Four times a month. Yes. Okay. Very good. So probably you go once a week, maybe. Once a week. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much, person. Very good. Yeah, I probably do the same thing, just like you. I mean, I go to the supermarket maybe once a week. Sometimes, uh, I mean, if I eat something 
if I eat out, like if I eat at, in a restaurant or things like that or fast food, then maybe I go every two weeks. But usually I go once a week so I can buy uh, my food, so I can buy like things for uh, the house, like uh, toothpaste and uh, toilet paper, that kind of things. So I can imagine that you guys probably do the same thing, right? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver qué nos dice Wendy. ¿Qué tal, Wendy? How are you doing today, Wendy? Can you help us? What things do you have in your neighborhood, Wendy? In my neighborhood, there are four malls and Plaza Merlot Mall, Gran Vía, oh. Las Cascadas Mall, and Multiplaza Mall. Oh, really? Okay, very good. You have a lot of things in your neighborhood. Wendy, you can go to many places. A lot of yeah. options. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Sunday in the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, go to the Plaza Marriott, uh, drink coffee. Oh, really? With my son and my husband. Very good. So you usually go to uh, Plaza Marriott, right? On Sunday afternoon? Yes, afternoon. So you can uh, drink some coffee with your husband and your son yeah very good very good that sounds good i like coffee <laughs> i like it i mean that's that's really good but i mean if i live in the same place that you live i think that probably i would spend too much money because there are too, too many things that you can buy so that's something dangerous too i mean <laughs> it's like when we get our uh, when we get pay and then we have money and then we start buying a lot of things uh, that's something that happens to me. Let's say that, for example, if they if I get paid tomorrow, then I, I know that I have money. And then I say, well, maybe I can buy something uh, to eat. And then I say, why? I, maybe I need some new shoes. Or maybe I need some, uh, I, I like this shirt. So maybe I can buy a new shirt or things like that, right? So it, it's really dangerous, guys. I try to uh, stay away from those things. Because I know that if I have the opportunity, uh, most likely I will spend too much money. That is not good. <laughs> eso, eso es algo que me, al menos a mí me pasa. Yo la verdad que si, digamos, trato de mantenerme alejado de algunas cosas, guys, porque la verdad que a veces me cuesta controlarme. No sé si a ustedes les pasa. De repente si nos gusta mucho algo y quizás sentimos que podemos, es como que, bueno, entonces me lo voy a comprar. Y después ahí estamos que ya no nos alcanza. Entonces a mí, a mí me pasa a veces eso. Trato de, de controlarme bastante. Yo personalmente tengo como una, una adicción, la verdad, como a cosas tecnológicas. O sea, ahí estoy como que de repente, eh, me, me gusta, este teléfono está bonito, estos audífonos se ven bien, y esas cosas así. Entonces es como que estoy ahí, ¿verdad? Este, este nuevo mouse para la computadora, porque para el trabajo lo uso bastante. Entonces, son cosas así, ¿verdad? So Jeffrey says uh, that he's uh, probably, he, he, he says that he has, he's just like me, Jeffrey. Jeffrey probably likes the same kind of things that I like. He's just like me. Okay, bueno. <clears throat> Muy bien, guys, muchas gracias a todos por sus participaciones. Bueno, aparte de eso, de la, lo que estuvimos viendo acerca del neighborhood, todas esas cosas, cómo han cambiado, y eso, también vimos la otra parte que era acerca de, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, estábamos viendo también el time contrast. And you guys had the opportunity to practice, some of you. I mean, not everybody got the opportunity to practice, but uh, some of you uh, did. Some of you had the opportunity to do it. And you guys told me, like, things like in the past, things that happen nowadays or in the present time. And then you also told me about things that you think that may happen in the future. So we didn't really finish that topic. So we are going to continue with that. And I would like to give you the opportunity so you can practice again, right? Because I, I think that that is something important. And I, and I really like it when you guys practice, when you guys uh, tell me uh, your examples. That's something that I really like. And I think that we can all learn from each other. I mean, I think that sometimes you guys have really good ideas that can help uh, everybody. So we can work on that. So let me just share the screen with you. We are going to watch uh, this video one more time. Vamos a ver por acá. 
déjenme que le comparta el audio porque a veces se me olvida. I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. Okay, let me go back. So as you can remember, guys, we have this little video that lasts just for 36 seconds. It's a really short video. We are going to watch it one more time. And then uh, we are going to uh, move from there. Okay. So let me just go ahead and play it for you. And we can talk about the video once we finish. Okay. So here we go. A people shop at supermarkets. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. All right, so just a little recap, just a little review about all this information that we uh, briefly uh, discussed yesterday. So we have the past. You can see we have different expressions for that. We have the simple past here, like people live here, right? So we have the simple past. And then we have people used to shop at grocery stores. So we're talking about used to. Okay, so we are talking also about the past but in this case, using the expression used to. And then we have, again, 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. So walk in the past, right? Simple past. Then when it comes to the present, we have uh, these options. We have uh, people shop at supermarkets, okay? Shop at supermarkets. That's the simple present, right? Then we have people drive their cars instead. Also, we have the simple present. One more time. And then we also have uh, this other option here at the beginning that says these days population is growing so fast. So we are talking here using the present progressive, right? Uh, do you remember that? I think you do. Like when we have this verb that ends in the ing, right? Population is growing fast. Uh, people are spending uh, more money these days. People are going out uh, more frequently these days. And that kind of thing, right? So I'm gonna come. Jeffrey shared uh, something with us. Okay, there we go. <laughs> thank you, then. Thank you, Jeffrey. So I. Vamos a ver. Y por último tenemos acá el futuro. Tenemos tres formas diferentes acá, al menos representadas. Tenemos tres formas. Tenemos uh, soon there will be. Okay, will be futuro simple, verdad? Will. And luego tenemos también el auxiliar might. So people might buy groceries by computer in the future or in 20 years. Esa es otra opción, might. Decir que puede, que hay una posibilidad. No sé si con ustedes vimos esa parte en la cual mencionábamos que estos verbos modales como might, may, eran como para hablar acerca de posibilidad de algo que suceda, ¿ok? Puede ser como un 50% de que pase por ahí. Entonces, por eso lo utilizamos para el futuro también. Luego tenemos por último, uh, in the future, people are going to use their uh, use cars even more. En el futuro, las personas van a usar sus carros incluso más. Ok, tenemos going to, which is something different, right? So we have going to. It's not the same like this. It's something different, right? Uh, I, I remember that I, I used to get confused a uh, long time ago. I used to get confused with going to and, and the present progressive. I, I thought that it was the same, but it is not. Growing, it is something, is present progressive, and then we have going to. That is something different. So we have uh, the verb to be, then going to, and then we have 
another verb after that. So people are going to buy, people are going to use, people are going to shop. So just like that. Okay. Okay, entonces esta parte sería con respecto a la estructura, las opciones que tenemos, si se fijan, presente, presente simple, acá, perdón, presente, presente simple, y también el presente progresivo, acá tenemos el pasado, eh, pasado simple, y used to, y para el futuro tenemos tres opciones, tenemos will be, eh, might, y going to. So we have those three options, guys. Uh, try to remember those options because I want you uh, to tell me uh, some examples using all of them, okay? We need to use all of them, not just one. Vamos a continuar con el video, eh, a menos que tengamos alguna pregunta. Is there any question, guys? Any concerns that you have at this point? No question, right? All right, so we're going to continue. Their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. All right, guys, so here uh, she just explained basically the same thing that I just told you, right? So in the past, we have expressions like few years ago, uh, people used to, 50 years ago, and that is the reason why we use verbs in the past, like lived and walked. And then we have time expressions like these days, today, or nowadays, and we have expressions and we have verbs in the present, like is growing, shop, and drive. Okay, and then we have the future. Finally, we have expressions like soon, in 20 years, or in the future. And then we have our verb that is going to be in the future as well, right? Like will be, my buy, and are go we have going to. Okay, so that's basically what she just said. Okay, so we're going to continue. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence pretense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Has your life changed? All right guys, so now we are going to work on this. Vamos a trabajar en esto. Acá nos dice que nosotros describamos cómo nuestra vida ha cambiado, por así decirlo. Entonces tenemos, eh, dice por ejemplo acá, as a child I used to, and then five years ago I, nowadays I, next year I'm going to, in five years I'll, and then in ten years I might. So we basically need, need to complete this, right? So for example, you can say as a child, I used to play soccer, for example, but uh, I, maybe I don't do it anymore, right? Because we are too busy. So uh, five years ago, I used to, uh, I was at, I was in a school, for example, uh, five years ago, I was in uh, university or in at school, things like that. And nowadays I'm working. Like for example, like Rodrigo said, we can say something like, uh, nowadays I'm, I am working in a call center. 
for, for example, when I'm, I'm uh, trying to uh, study English, I'm trying to uh, improve my English skills, things like that. Next year, I'm going to have, uh, or I'm going to move to another, uh, to a new house, okay? For example, it just depends. But you can say whatever you want, right? Basicamente, look, <clears throat> perdón, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, básicamente lo que quiero que hagamos acá es que ustedes puedan describir un poco de su vida, ¿verdad? Puede ser real, puede ser imaginario, no importa. Realmente lo que importa es que podamos utilizar estas expresiones que tenemos acá, ¿ok? Son expresiones de tiempo y también vamos a utilizar diferentes tiempos del verbo, que es lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Vamos a ver el pasado, el presente y el futuro. Recuerden de eh, cuando tenemos going to... Most of the times, that means that we have plans for that. Okay? It's something that we planned already. Okay? Like, for example, you can say next year, I'm going to graduate from high school. Or I'm going to graduate from college or university. I don't know. Things like that. And then in five years, I'll uh, probably uh, will travel to another country. Maybe something like that, right? And then in 10 years, I might have my own family. I might have uh, th things like that. I might have uh, three children or I don't know. You can say whatever you want. Okay. Nos queda claro esta parte, guys. Quiero que trabajemos en eso. Así que por favor, vayámoslo elaborando desde ya. Si tienen por ahí un cuaderno o si lo quieren hacer mentalmente, pues no hay ningún problema también. Pero lo mejor sería quizás que ustedes lo vayan anotando. Porque eso nos va a servir para que lo memoricemos mejor. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, sir. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and tell me, okay? I'm here to help you. you have, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and say it. ¿Qué les parece si hacemos, si ustedes practican un rato, tal vez en parejas o en tríos? ¿Qué les parece eso? ¿Estaría mejor así o prefieren que sigamos de la manera en la que estamos ahorita? Sería bien quizás un trío para que vayamos interactuando nuestros, eh, nuestra pronunciación y a la vez nuestro conocimiento, ¿no? Yep, I think that, that is a good idea. Thank you, Francisca. Yep, I think that that would be probably a good idea. So we might just do that. What do you think, guys? What What about the rest? What What, what do you guys think? Bueno, si no me dicen nada, pues creo que voy a, voy a asumir que ustedes están de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer eso. Yo creo que es bueno que ustedes puedan interactuar entre ustedes, como dijo Francisca, y que puedan, pues, eh, hablar un poco más, ¿verdad? Tal vez cuando yo estoy acá no todos pueden hablar. Entonces, eh, ahí tenemos esa desventaja, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a intentar hacer eso. Lo voy a colocar en parejas, quizás, o tríos. Ya, ya voy a ver cómo los acomodo para que ustedes puedan practicar, ¿ok? Sé que a veces algunos no pueden, algunos están ahí muteados, cosas así, pero vamos a intentarlo. Si yo veo que no están practicando, porque yo los puedo ver, ¿ok? Yo puedo ver si tienen el micrófono encendido, si están hablando, todos lo puedo ver. 
aunque no me vean en el grupo con ustedes, pero allí los puedo ver yo desde acá. Así que vamos a intentar hacer eso. Vamos a hacer por acá unos grupos y yo los voy a estar observando. Ok, so here we go, guys. All right, so I'm going to share uh, like a screenshot of the uh, activity that we need to complete. And I will send you also a couple of more things so you can practice, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, guys. So I just send you an invitation so you guys can join. <clears throat> 